And the current time is 8.02, a very brisk 31 degrees outside the WGC-FM studio. Good evening. Scotty Ells here with you. So glad you're here with me. Tonight on West Gotham City Radio, controversial statements from Gotham Police Commissioner Pete Savage during a recent press conference. The commissioner saying that vengeance is not what we should be going for after Mayor Don Mitchell was found dead in his office earlier this week. Here's Pete Savage. Well, as far as we can tell, because we don't have enough information to make a proper statement about the mass case, the person in question seems to have only high-ranked people as his targets, like politicians or, or even myself. I would prefer making a proper announcement about this, but uh, as it's very important to keep the Gothamites informed about everything that concerns their safety, the murderer is trying to reach the bad man, and um, I still don't know why. But as long as this case isn't resolved, this guy's getting nothing from us. There's nothing to fear about. We have everything under control. Social media lighting up with hot takes on that. Some folks saying he's gone soft. Others pointing fingers at members of the Maroney crime family who were locked up under Mitchell's administration. No suspects yet. A very scary situation at a very scary time of the year. Halloween right around the corner. But what's more frightening than a radio commercial that causes car accidents. New media campaign against drops reportedly causing crashes around the country due to a certain sound signature in that ad. In the interest of public safety, safety, we're going to play a quick clip of that ad right now, but don't worry, the offending audio has been removed. Let's listen. Addiction to drops is on the rise. Wonderland is a dangerous place. And a temporary laughter can kill. This single drop dissipating in your eye causes more damage to your body and mental health than a therapist therapist ever would. They want you to think you'll have a good time, but all you'll have is death, death following you from close behind. So far, only 23% of people addicted, addicted to this death trap survived. Stop drops if you want to. Get help, get help, get help. Live happily. Get a job, get a job, get a job, get a job. Live longer. Get a life, get a life. Get a life. Need help? Call us at 164 6999. Fight, Mr. Drop. This notice was provided to you by the Gotham Health Department. The drug in that ad apparently getting moved around quite a bit, according to Gotham Police Department. Trace amounts turning up in four states beyond our city and as far down south as North Carolina. Also, funeral preparations for Mayor Mitchell underway. Two titans confirmed to be attending, billionaire Bruce Wayne and political frontrunner Bella Real, who previously put Bruce on blast for his spending habits. Mitchell is being laid to rest this Friday at Gotham Cathedral. In the WGC Newsroom, I'm Scotty Ells. It's time to clean out the city of its bludgers. Vote for Bella Real. New fragrance, simply divine. Each day that passes, a new opportunity to meet new people and build relationships. Jovan Premier, the new essence for women. The fate of the city is in your hands. Vote for real promises. Vote for real change. Vote for Bella Real. This is Around Gotham on WGC-FM. I'm Peter Aldredge, and in this portion of the program, I'm joined in Studio B by the versatile saxophonist Andrew Olson. He's played everything from opera to jazz to every outside new music to rock and roll even. Also, composer Gino Sanders, who's over the last several years has written a collection of pieces for Olson. We'll talk with both of them in a little more depth in a few minutes. But let's begin with some music. This is a piece that was commissioned by the Robert Kane Center's Outdoor Festival in 2018 that's entitled, appropriately enough, The Quartet for an Outdoor Festival. And the composer Gino Sanders will be conducting Richard Anglin, the soprano sax, Joyce Klinksgale's violin, Iva Sullivan, cello, and Adrian Chavez at the piano. This is a live performance on Around Gotham. It's 
the quartet for an outdoor festival.